Hey guys, J Miles here. Some Apex Legends pros absolutely devastated, receiving some tragic news. And man, this is just so unfortunate. We're gonna dive deep into what happened, how it could have been prevented, and honestly, it's just unacceptable. And also a little bit of a look into the next update for the game. And honestly, I was not expecting a lot of these changes at all. So I'm very interested to see your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget, we're giving away 10,000 Apex coins. We already gave away the heirloom, but we're giving another 10,000 Apex coins away. All you gotta do, same exact process. Leave a comment down below. Leave a like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm only picking people that are subscribed. The finalists from last video is in the comment down below and if you win and you don't want the 10,000 apex coins you could just do like a hundred dollars cash now i actually picked two finalists from this video one being a random commenter and the other person who can tell me how many times in this video i say the words you know and the word obviously i overuse it too much and i'm watching this video back and realizing how stupid i sound so i'll give someone a finalist position if they can tell me so first off i just thought this video was very funny face for days put this on twitter and it got over 300 likes and honestly this has been one of the craziest seasons by far the meta is just always you know changing and it's always seeming like the bad players are able to kill good players with just cheese meta weapons and honestly i called it at the beginning of the season you know especially things like rampart i said that you know rampart is gonna be way too overpowered people said no it's definitely not gonna happen there's been a lot of people now saying look rampart needs a little bit of a nerf i think that sheila is a little too much and it's mainly just because it's a weapon that allows really bad players to kill really good players whenever they really should not be able to and with the spitfire and rampage back on the ground loot this is what phase for days thought all of the players in season 13. not very much newsworthy i just thought this was pretty funny after me i have no talent I have no talent. Also wanted to mention that Thorn Smash put out some news regarding one of the next updates being the August 9th update, which obviously being season 14, most likely and the double tap trigger set to come back to the ground loot and being removed, obviously from just strictly the G7 scout over in the care package. Now it does seem like it would also be getting a slight buff, but at the end of the day, remember it is a double tap trigger. So how good is it really? And also the next weapon to go into the care package in season 14, many people are under the assumption that it's gotta be the R301. It's gotta be the flat line. Those two weapons are incredible and they've never been in really so maybe it's a perfect time for them to go in well thorn smash also said look it's never been the situation where an ar has been in the care package so it's very unlikely that that would actually happen obviously doesn't exclude or rule out the fact that it could happen they could be willing to make a change but what seems to be most likely is the fact that they're rotating marksman weapons in and out and the next marksman weapon to be added most likely would be the bow check bow and what makes the most sense is thorn was actually able to catch one of these tweets and this was a definitely game changer definitely points to the fact that i agree i think it could be the bow check bow going in next a fan actually wrote into John Larson last year and said, remove weapons for God's sakes, John Larson. Nobody cares about the P20, the bow check bow or the 3030 and actually helps with the loot pool distribution. And this is what John Larson replied and said, you take that back. I care about the bow check. We got stuff in mind and we know we can't keep releasing weapons without considering the health of the loot pool. So it definitely seems very likely we could see the Bocek Bow receive a buff in season 14 and then go into the care package as well. Obviously, that being said, considering the double tap trigger is now going to be on the ground loot, it seems like the G7 Scout would come out as well. Another possible option, obviously, Triple Take could go back in, but I just don't see that happening because it's been, you know, in recently. And considering, you know, the game balancer here has said they have an idea that would help all of the situations that, you know, are fixing the problems of the loot pool being, you know, a little uneven even maybe this is definitely the idea that they're looking for now side note here is apparently there's a new weapon coming out at some point called the scorpion and it's basically an automatic crossbow that shoots like a machine gun but it shoots bows and is th the thought of it just seems absolutely absurd got to be the most annoying gun to play against i highly doubt that's the next weapon to come out but if it does and when it does dude it's gonna be i can see the fans raging now now also in the news i'm so sad to even report this man it's just got to be so heartbreaking as competitors in lights of the algs world championship for apex legends being right around the corner in july we have some unfortunate rather news in today's video and this is coming from a pro team over in russia well at least i would assume it's russia because his bio is in russian but i'm not exactly sure there could be many many reasons as to why this happened but unfortunately it's not just them that it's happening to i've heard a lot of the fans having the same issue that are trying to go over to algs number one we had the big issue of the fact that you know algs was announced extremely late other games announced their world championship so far ahead of time and we had literally almost like less than a month's notice of algs and when it was going to be so people are on ready ready to get stuff in order and they're not able to do so because respawn refused to announce it at the time and really which they should now there was obviously something of some kind of bump in the road as to why they couldn't we also know that you know 
the guy over at ea who's doing this stuff basically said you you know i can't just come out and say what's going on because you know i work for a big company they've not given me the green light to do so so it's unfortunate that something was happening it's just very also unfortunate that you know all of these people are getting the backlash for this they're, they're feeling the bad end of this and it's not just obviously him and this might not even be his reasoning for why he cannot come and i'll get into that in just a second but a lot of the fans having some issues booking flights booking hotels because it's all last minute it's all so late and it was just a little too late to plan ahead so just some extreme unfortunate and unprofessional coordinating from ea and apex so this is what ranch has actually said he said basically we missed the championship visa denial to all three of us so basically his entire team was denied a visa to come into america and he said they were down ten thousand dollars for this and obviously very very tilted so it's unfortunate to see and most likely in this case i'm not exactly sure i can't say you know 100 certainty but for everyone experiencing this issue it's not necessarily just the fact that it was announced so last minute or the fact that it was so unprofessional coordinating by ea and apex it could also be the fact that you know with all the issues going on in russia and ukraine that there are a lot of travel bans i know that were against russia and a lot of the people that are in russia unfortunately are innocent bystanders who are affected by this so it could very well be the fact that they were denied because of that reason so unfortunately with the decision that vladimir putin decided to make a lot of these people are innocently affected unfortunately obviously with the visa denied it had nothing to do with algs and nothing to do with apex however there were some other issues that i wanted to point out here apex legends of esports you know a couple months ago said you know basically in lights of everything unfolding in ukraine and russia they decided to pause the algs competition then a couple weeks later they came back and said we decided to resume it back for north america south america apex north and apex south However, the EMEAs were still on pause until further notice. And then I wanted to say, maybe it was not Apex. It could have been another game, but there were some games out there that I want to say were basically excluding Russia from the competitions as a way to basically starve them out from society even more. Like I said, I could not find anywhere where Apex specifically did that, but I saw some game somewhere at some point do it, and I cannot think of which game it was. But regardless, so heartbreaking to see these people qualify, you know, sweat day in and day out to try to make it an ALGS championship for millions of dollars on the line and then just be rejected from the visa i'm not even really sure who goes in their place at this point surely they're not going to just play with you know a team down maybe they'll replace them with another team but nonetheless very sad to see and a very unfortunate situation also some more tragic news in today's video one of our favorite apex legend streamers nice wig looked like he had a little bit of a health scare yesterday i just want to let you know that he is all right he did tweet this out earlier he said basically i could not breathe and almost passed out so i had to go to the emergency room worst that i've ever felt in my life cannot lie i was absolutely terrified i'm getting looked at and feeling better thankfully this coming shortly after he says he turns out that he has strep throat and all the side effects after his booster shot and he basically just said he could not even swallow it was so bad so unfortunate scare for nice wig as well but we all love nice wig and everybody supports him so bro hope you're getting better hope you're feeling well and hopefully things will turn around for you soon also lastly just before we get out of here i just want to remind you once again we're having issues uh, i'm talking about unplayable i'm not talking about a bad bug that's plaguing the game or something that we just want fixed the loba brace that's been so long i'm talking about an absolutely unplayable service over on the xbox console this is what reddit user alfie honey said on reddit said xbox is still unplayable on next gen this is unbelievable at this point the only acknowledgement we are getting from twitter is from the ea help team no communication which by the way i just want to say most of that are adam automatic responses so that's not even really ea help team actually reaching out and talking to you but basically said no communication from respawn or any devs myself and many other people on xbox have spent much much money on this game just to be ignored and left behind in the first week of the event and last week of the rank split this 100 coincides with what lulu was saying as to why she's looking to quit apex legends and move on to another game because we're not talking about millions of dollars we're talking about billions of dollars in this company and ea is not funding respawn with the help that they need and the funding that they need to make this game the absolute best that it could be now this reddit user obviously says much more i'm not going to read all of it because you can kind of get the idea of what he's talking about here but i do want to point out that pav and moy a couple of them have actually expressed that there are some fixes is coming on the way uh but unfortunately nothing specific no date or time really specific and it's just an unfortunate situation all that i can think is that respawn is doing the best that they can with the cards that they've been dealt with by ea i'm very interested to see your comments about all of this down in the comment section below leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel for more i'll see you all in the next one don't forget you'll also be entered in for a chance to win that 10,000 apex coin giveaway and until the next time take care of yourselves and i'll see you all later gators